Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to talk about the toy lock on the uh, turning light and on the turning double. Uh, we just want to run through the toy lock. A lot of people have the question, what is the toy lock? Um, so you'll see the yellow thing on the back of the trailer on the double, it's up in the front. Um, but we'll kind of give you a little bit of a breakdown on how it works and how to use it. So with the uh, turning light, um, you'll get a set of double keys, but you can see here with the lock, um, on the back here, it's got a rubber coating, so sometimes it's a little hard to get it there, but basically you just unlock that, kind of hold this in place, and you can slide that right out, and then pop this out here. So with this, uh, with this cable here, it's a lot like an air hose in a shop, if you've ever used one. Basically, you'll hear clicking, and then uh, it'll lock after the clicking if you let it go. So you wanna go till it clicks, and then let go, and you'll see that it stays in place so it doesn't retract yet. But once you go past the clicking, it actually can pull it back in. So when you pull it out, you wanna go ahead and run it out all the way until it starts clicking, but get enough cable that you can run through uh, either your kayak or a top kayak as well. And lock it out so you don't have to fight it retracting back in. And what you're gonna do is you'll run this end through a scupper hole or anything that you can tie off down to, run it up through the other kayak, and then you wanna bring that back down and you're gonna run that all the way back to this post here. So, and then once you, well, you, you put it back in here and go ahead and grab your lock, just put the lock on there. And basically once, once it's ran through your kayaks, go ahead and pull it back down again, let it retract on itself and it'll tighten up so that you don't have any slack in the cable and you'll be ready to go. And then same thing in reverse, you'll just pull that out, lock it, on, and then uh, run the cable back out through the kayaks and you'll be good. Also on the double, we've got a different position for the toy lock. It's gonna be on the front side of the trailer. Um, so here it's gonna be the same concept and we'll run through it. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna run through uh, the scupper hole on your kayak here and then over to your other kayak, you can come up under if you've got a third or fourth kayak even. I think you can get about three kayaks, but you can't come back to the tie down. So basically, if you go up to a third kayak or a fourth, you can tie down off to these tie downs or with the lock, or you can, um, or you can just run it through the scupper holes. And if the lock's big enough and can't pull through, you can just run it through the scupper hole, lock on the other side, and they can't pull it down through. All right, so I'm just gonna run through it so you guys can see it, but basically the same concept. Uh, you wanna just unlock the lock here. It's got that rubber again, so just make sure that's out of the way. Go ahead and pull it out. You wanna run this out until you feel like you've got enough cable. We're gonna go ahead and get as much as we can to see about getting a third kayak. Max is out right about there. You gotta come back a little bit, find those clips. Uh, all right. So it looks like when you're really close to the end, you gotta find, there it is. All right, so that's your cable ran out. Basically what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna run it through one kayak, through the scupper hole, and then I would go up under through your second kayak just so we can kind of see the length of it. We're gonna run this out. So there's about what you would have with two kayaks locked down. So I would say you could probably get that fourth kayak in if you did it right. Um, but if, if you ran through a scupper hole and you can't make it back down to this lock, you can run through your kayak and then through something like this, like one of the tie downs. And if you have your lock on there, then you can't pull it through. So I would maybe try something like that if you've got a third or fourth kayak. Um, and then basically the same concept, whenever, once you have everything uh, strung through and your lock on, you wanna come back over here, pull that slack out by letting it retract on itself until it pulls all the way back in and tightens up on your kayaks, okay?
We hope this uh, video helped you guys out today. Uh, just why I've had a lot of questions about what is the toy lock, so I wanted to give you a little bit of a breakdown. Um, like I've said before, if you guys think of anything that uh, you struggle with or something that you need tips and help on, uh, just let us know, give us a call. We'll try and get something together for you. Um, so to, today is just the toy lock. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed it. Give us a shout out in the comments and thanks for watching.